Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets, great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today we look at a very popular request in the Revit forums or anywhere I can find. That is to build a curved curtain system. This is what you have from Revit out of the box. If you do a curved wall like this, even though it looks curved in general, when you zoom really way in, the panels are still flat and the mullions are still straight. Sometimes that's not what you want. Sometimes you want something more elegant like this where you have curved panels coupled with curved mullions. So let's see how we can do this system today in a blank new file. Let's choose new project. I'm on an architectural template for now. This is usually a task for the architects to model anyway. And let's start off by creating our first curved wall, something like this. That's a brick wall there. We don't want brick wall today. Let's turn it quickly into a curtain wall storefront. And because the levels are in the way, I'll hide them quickly by category. Yes. So you can see the panels are still flat. But we can change this straight away. I will create a basic wall to the side like this. And maybe another one as well. Now the first step to do the system, just this, is to create a wall type that represents your class panels. Let's go to edit type here and duplicate this to make a new type. I'll call this one glass, glass, 20 mil. That's probably the typical thickness of a glass panel anyway. And here you can say, just delete whatever additional layers you don't need. Only leave a single core boundary layer. And the thickness can now be 20 mil. For the material, just for nice graphics, let's turn this into glass. And click OK to confirm. There you have it. That's the panel type as a basic wall. I can now go and edit the definition of this system and change the curtain panel definition to basic wall class 20 mil. And then immediately you see an improvement, don't you? It's getting much better now. You have curved panels there, truly curved panels. Next step is to create our mullions. The mullions on the vertical grid lines, they are still straight, so I'll create them using the Molian tool in Revit. Select the Molian type I need. For now, let's do 20 by 150. And click on Control. Hold out the Control key now. That allows me to do, in one click, all the Molians in the system. And that's how it did it. Next step is to take out the horizontal mullions. We want to replace them, remember? I'm going to now do tab select to get. Now I can do right click and do select mullions on the grid line. This is a nice little feature Revit has. And we can say on grid line. That will select all the mullions on the same grid line for me. I can now delete them in one go like this. Let's do the same for the other rows. As you can see now, we can do a few rows at a time. And two more to go. So, because you have the option to do a multiple row selection at one time. It shouldn't take too long to take all the horizontal mullions out. Next step is to create the space we need for our curved horizontal mullions. And we'll do so by placing a few additional curtain grids. Something like this will do. Place one first and then change the number there to the required height. In our case, that should be 50. And I'll do the same for the rest of our, of our row. Okay, 
Let us ready to receive our shiny new curved mullions. Let's select the first panel there on the top right corner of the system. And then do right click, select panels along the horizontal grid. Very nice feature again. I can now unpin them all in one go and change their type to be mullion. That reminds me, actually, I haven't modified this wall to be a mullion. Let's do that now quickly. Edit type. And I'm going to use the same dimensions as we have for the vertical ones 50 by 150. Don't forget to take out additional layers, anything you don't need here, delete it, and get the correct thickness in. The material, the material, I can do aluminium for now. Okay. And that is ready. We can now go back here, select the panel again, select panels along the horizontal grid. Molian ready to go. Let's put it in there. Yes. This is how it should be. Everything nicely curved and joined, and you have just a few more rows to, to, to do before the whole system is complete. When you do this, by the way, make sure you right click on one of the selected panels. Otherwise, this, this, this option to select panels may not show up. For example, I have here the two panels selected, but if I right click somewhere to the side, you see there's an option to select panels. I need to go back and right click on one of the selected items. And now the option is there. So along horizontal grid, unpin and change the type. And I think that's a nice conclusion to our tutorial. This system is quite expensive if you ask me, but very nice to have 